Hello viewers, this is Not Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing this IEZ310 OBD2 scanner. Now, OBD2 scan tool can be very helpful if you're troubleshooting some issues on your vehicle. So for example, let's say you have a check engine light on your dash. You simply plug the scan tool into your vehicle and within minutes, you'll be able to find the trouble code and identify what problem your car is having. With a scan tool like this, besides being able to read the trouble code, you can also use it to erase the trouble code. This tool is also able to read live data and do a quick IM readiness test, which will check the readiness of your emission components. Let me show you the unboxing of this tool and then take it to the vehicle and show you how to use it. The Viden IEC 310 OBD scan tool comes in this package. Here's a look at the back. Here it tells you the features on this tool. This scan tool will work with most 1996 and newer OBD2 compliant cars. It supports all 10 OBD2 test modes. There's a red, yellow, and green LED display to show you if you have any trouble codes. There's a hotkey for doing IM readiness test. You can read and erase stored and pending codes. There's an onboard database to look up full code definitions. You can read freeze frame data. It's able to read, record, graph, and playback real-time live data. Read the car's VIN information. Test and display the battery voltage. It supports multiple languages and lifetime free software and firmware updates. Here's the scan tool. User manual. USB cable. Let's have a closer look at this IEZ310 scan tool. On the front is a 3 inch color LCD display. Right below that is a green, yellow, and red LED status lights. So if it lights up green, then everything's running normally. If you have a yellow LED, then there's a possible problem and the vehicle might have a pending trouble code. If you see a red LED, then you have one or more trouble code and the check engine light on your dash is on. This is a help hotkey and will allow you to access the help function. On the right side is a hotkey for the IM readiness test. This will check the readiness of your emission components. In the middle is the navigation buttons, up, down, left, and right. You can also use a button to read trouble code and erase trouble code. There's a back button, enter button, and the red button at the bottom will allow you to restart the tool. Here's a look at the back. The overall design is very compact. It fits nicely in your hand. At the top is a cable that goes to this connector. This is where you plug into your vehicle. Now this cable you see here is three feet long. I wish a cable to be a little longer, but at three feet you'll be able to plug this into your vehicle and use the tool while you're on the driver's side. Now I want to mention these tools do not require any batteries to operate. Once you plug into your vehicle, you'll get power from the vehicle and the unit will operate. On this Honda Odyssey, the OBD port is right underneath the driver's side. Plug the scan tool into the data link connector. Here's a look at the home screen. There are six menu items. OBD2, battery, DTC lookup, review, print data, and setup. To navigate, use arrow buttons right here. So if you want to check the battery voltage, press enter. With the engine off, the battery is 11.93 volts. Back. DTC lookup. Here you can enter the trouble code and look up what the trouble code is. So for example, P0420. There's a trouble code for catalyst system efficiency. If you have this, it could mean you have a problem with your catalytic converter. Back. Back. Review will allow you to review your saved data. With print data, you can connect this to your computer and print out the saved data. Set up. Here you can change your language, configure monitors, change your unit of measure, turn on and off the beep, turn on and off the diag beep set, tool self-test. You can test the display. Test the keyboard. LED test. About will show you the software version. Let's go back to OBD2. Now I'll start the car. If I check the battery now, I read the voltage of the alternator. Let's go into OBD2.
Under Diagnostic Menu, you can read codes, press Enter. You can read store codes, pending codes, and permanent codes. No code stored. Next is Erase Codes. If you have any trouble codes and was able to identify the problem and fix it, you can go here and erase the code. Next is Live Data. Here's reading all the PIDs. Let's go into View Data. You can look at all the data set or select a specific parameter. You can also graph it. Let's go to Complete Data Set. Scroll down. So for example, RPM, right now is 740. If I rev the engine, you'll see the number go up. Press enter and you can graph it. Custom data set. Here it tells you the right button will allow you to select and deselect. The left button will allow you to select and deselect all. Enter to confirm and back to cancel. Again, I'll use the RPM as an example. Select it, press enter. Now I'll only show you the parameter you selected. RPM, press it again, it'll graph it. When you're done, go back. You can also choose to graph data set. Press enter to start. Let's go back. Now you can also record data. You can record the complete data set or the custom data set or the graph data set. With the manual trigger, if you press the enter button, we'll start recording. With the DTC trigger, if it sees a trouble code, that's when it starts recording. Press enter to start. So right now the live data is being recorded. To stop the recording, press back. Here it tells you recording is done. If you want to play back the data, press yes. Now it's playing back the recorded data. Let's go to IM Readiness to check the emission components. Here it tells you if the emission components are ready. Onboard monitor test. You can use this to test emission related components. Vehicle information. Here I'll show you the VIN number of the vehicle. Now this can be handy if you're buying a used vehicle and you want to make sure the VIN number is correct. Here's asking if you want to exit. Yes. Let's go down to review. Live data that we recorded. Now it's playing back the recorded data. If you want to go straight to the IM test, press the hot key right here. Here will give you a summary of the IM readiness test. When you're done with the testing, turn off the engine. Disconnect the cable and the unit will turn off. As you can see, this Viden IEZ310 OBD scan tool can do a lot when it comes to troubleshooting problems in your vehicle. The overall design is very good. I like the large 3-inch LCD display. The layout of the navigation button makes it very easy to operate. This is perfect for the do-it-yourselfers at home. With this tool, you can diagnose a problem and decide if you want to fix it yourself or take it to a mechanic and have them fix it. At the time of doing this review, you can get the scan tool for $50. I'll include the link below. 
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to click on a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to support this channel. Also click on the notification bell so you'll get notified of my new videos. Thank you and have an awesome day.